In the late afternoon yesterday, hundreds of protesters broke out from a peaceful march against Beijing's interpretation of the basic law over the oath-taking saga and proceeded to the central government's liaison office in Western. They demanded direct contact with liaison office officials to voice their opposition, but were held back by police. The protesters later changed their plans and decided to occupy the Vo Road West. Traffic came to a standstill. The protesters moved barriers and trash cans to the middle of the road. Objects, including glass, were thrown at the police. Bricks were dug up from the pavement outside the Western Police Station. One of the protesters wielded a broken glass bottle, while others had bricks and long sticks in their hands. Police raised the red flag, warning protesters against charging police lines. That was ignored, and officers pepper sprayed the demonstrators. The confrontation continued. At around 1.30 this morning, lawmaker Nathan Law urged the protesters to move to a more favorable location to do whatever they want, while Young Inspiration's Yao Weiqing called for a wildcat protest. Police armed with shields and pepper spray charged towards the protesters in an attempt to push them towards the direction of Central. More officers armed with tear gas joined their colleagues. Protesters who refused to budge were taken away. At around 2 in the morning, the inspiration's six slum called on the demonstrators to disperse. More police officers then charged towards the protesters, pushing them from Center Street to Bonham Strand. Protesters ran into the side streets. Shortly afterwards, six Sloan got on a taxi and left. At the MPC Standing Committee press conference today, Deputy Secretary General Li Fei spoke about the protests. He said there were people who held up Hong Kong independence banners last night. He added those who call for self-determination are also advocating independence. These people, Li said, are trying to break up the country. So how can they protect Hong Kong and the basic law and pledge allegiance to the SAR, he questioned. Lee also said since the 1997 handover, there has been Hong Kong independence advocacy in disguise, influencing young people. Lee added he believes these young people will be able to see the true colors of those who influenced them after a period of time. Adeline